Snip, snap, slapity, slap. All right, we want to uh, introduce this. Let's introduce this. Sorry, this is the second time. Second go at uh, playing Doom here. Uh, we're Go Team Win. I'm Jason. That's Kyle. I'm the one who just died because I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. And this today, is not starting off great. And today we are playing Doom. Ugh. We hopped on this bandwagon. And we already played this. We already played half this level. But Kyle forgot to, you know, record on Jason's to, audio. <laughs> Kyle forgot to record my audio, so here we are. It's so, okay, Kyle. So we're going to have... Jason was playing originally, but I'm going to play it since I've played a lot more. We're going to try to get through this because we don't have all the time in the world. And uh, I can probably run through this a lot quicker. Kyle has important business to take care of. I do. It involves a poop. <laughs> it involves a poop? Hey. Eh? Kyle, hey girl. You, uh... Hey girl. I like how you look. I Kyle. like that you look all decrepit and skeletal. Kyle, just my just, type. Can we just talk again? Can we just talk about how you need to poop? What? What about pooping? Pooping is a natural thing, J Jason. I know. But There's an I entire mean, book called Everyone what, Needs Poops. On what level of like needing to poop are you right now? Eventually. Eventually. Like, as in you could go now, but it can wait. Yeah, it can wait. Okay, good. We can't have you prairie dogging it in the middle of a video. Ugh. It's, 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 it's a like, little bit of coming out. Just Ooh. a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So, cool thing here. Watch as his visor disappears. Magic. <laughs> does, it just, does it just disappear for cutscenes? You know, it just disappears. It just, it just disappears. So, yeah. So, well, because there's a heads-up display for the rest of it. Yeah, I mean, his visor just disappears, though. I like how brutal Doom Guy is, though. Like, Super brutal, guys. Hey, guys. I have a band. It's called <laughs> Brutal Doom. It's like, my whole life is just a Metallica song. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel. And none of that. None of that older crap. All of their early stuff. <laughs> All their early stuff, you know. The good stuff. All right, let's go do this. Oh, I'm gonna run past this. There's gonna be some people here. I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna be like, ah, kill them, and then ah, kill this kill all guy. The dudes, beat them up. Kill this dude. Kill this dude. All right, we've this suddenly turned this into just a speed run of the a first speed game. run of the first level of Doom. Let's do this. Got my shotgun. Like, oh, shoddy. Shoddy. Oh, dude. All right, let's do this. Okay. It's a strong dude. I wish I knew what the name of these were. They have a name. I think they're called imps, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I was never a big Doom fan. Yeah, they're called imps. Yeah, Doom was never really something that I... I think we were too young for it, honestly. Yeah, I think it's a little before our time. I, was, I played them all. I've actually played every single Doom, but... Never... Never played it when it first came out. And In all honesty, the old Dooms actually give me a headache. Just the way they are. Like, I, I just can't do it. It's just too much for you to handle. Yeah, it's just too much, a little too much for me. <laughs> There's just something about that like streaming image with the no real like bounce to it or like motion. The motion just doesn't really add up, and my brain's like just it rejects it. <laughs> just, like, I hate this. I hate every. I hate this and everything about it. I hate. Oh, he's ripped its jaw off. You know what happens? It happens. Rip, sometimes you rip a jaw here too. You know what they say? You can't break a few eggs without ripping a few jaws. Is that, is that how the saying goes? I think that's what the saying is. Or something about let them eat cake. I'm not quite sure. Huh. Let them eat cake or rip their jaws Guys, off. Kyle, Kyle's not good at cliches. <laughs> really not. I I should be. I should be too, because I'm like the most cliche white person of all time. Upper middle class. I mean, I wasn't going to say Peter scientist. Well educated. <laughs> And I really, really like mayonnaise. My wife is also like that. <laughs> Chris, if you could rate your love for mayonnaise on a scale from 1 to 10, what would it be? No, mayonnaise. For mayonnaise. Or, you know, my mayonnaise. So a zero. <laughs> so she has not eaten in years, is what she said. So the funny thing about my wife, she's, a, she's actually very ghetto. <laughs> she's basically European... European redneck is European her bloodline. Redneck. 
Like 50% of. Aroma. Yeah, she's just like a quarter Roma. Wow. Yeah, you are. You're a gypsy. <laughs> Roma? How do, I don't know what Roma means. Okay. It's like gypsies. They're gypsies, man. They're I've taken some history classes. And they still exist all over the world. Yeah. Pickpocketing people from. from. from Peru to all the way to Perry. <laughs> from Peru to Perry. What was that? She's only 1 16th, is what she claims. Is that enough to get you a scholarship? No. <laughs> you have to at least be. <laughs> <laughs> Rely on your gender to get scholarships, okay. Doom! Here, turn off the music. Turn it up. We got a headbang. We're headbanging! We're doing it! Alright, it's over. I'm terrible at headbanging. I've done a lot of it in my day. Gone to a lot of metal shows. Chris, that is a word. You don't have to giggle when I say headbang. Damn it. This is why you shouldn't be in the room when we record. This is this is adult stuff, Chris. What does headbang mean to you, Chris? <laughs> okay, I could say something <laughs> she, terrible. But... She doesn't she doesn't want to she doesn't want to tell me. I could I could probably guess her answer, but I'm not going to to save save face for her. <laughs> so we don't have to age gate this video? Exactly. <laughs> uh, let's just let's just kill demons, Jason. Let's focus on that. There's a, this, this, this little guy here. Let's kill him. He does, I think he's dead. He's not dead. There we go. He's dead now. Let's kill this little guy here. Doesn't really need to be alive. Sorry, little imp. Alright, this guy. Alright. So, hmm. did you pick up the digital versions of Red, blue, or yellow? No, I have not. I just picked up red today. I'm excited to play it. I might pick up blue, because that was the one I had as a child. I actually found my copy of blue. See, I decided to choose to go with red because I played blue as a kid. Oh, that's actually a, a very smart idea. You can catch them all that way. Although, to be honest, to find it, I just went on the charts of the Nintendo store. Like, the top 20 charts. <laughs> and that was the one that was on the top 20 charts. And I was like, so... Blue is the one I had as a kid, so I'll go with red. So I can't be bothered so, to go any further so down. So it was part out of laziness, part out of, uh, of making that decision. <laughs> so I just can't be bothered. I just can't, I just can't do it. Just can't be bothered to actually enter Pokemon Blue version Nostalgia's into the search. Nostalgia's overrated. I'll still get the nostalgia. That's the true. game's basically the same thing. It's, they're completely different, Jason. I don't know what you're on about. There's a couple different Pokemon here and there. The best Pokemon are in red. It has Ekans. Ekans. That's true. That is a true fact. That's the only thing I know about the differences. To be honest, I really only bought it to help me fill my Pokedex up in Omega Ruby. Oh, fair enough. It's only ten bucks, so I figured why not. I have not played a Pokemon game since uh, Pearl. And, um, I gave that- I gave, no, Black and White. I only played, like, half of Black and White, but I beat Pearl. And then I gave that game away to my host brother, who was, like, seven years old. I remember that. Man. When Kyle was in Japan, the first time. Yep. Good time. Lived in Okinawa. Lived with a very nice family called the Tyrus. And if you think that's gonna help you find anyone in that family, there's about a billion Tyras in Okinawa. So there. It's actually a very common Okinawa name. Is it like Smith? It's like Smith, except Okinawan. The Okinawan Smith? Yeah, basically. Johannes Tyrus. <laughs> Johannes Tyrus? Tyrus. Tyrus. Johannes is like a German name. Well, you know, the Germans took over Okinawa, right? That's right. Is that right? I, don't I think my, I think my history might be a bit off. They were allies in World War II. I might be a bit off them. And I'm, right, Mussolini took over the Australia, right? <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard that. I think that's right. Yeah. I did not mean to do that. You're just trying to beat that thing in the nuts or know. what? I don't know. I'm I'm a little little loopy from cough drops at this point. Kids don't do cough drops. They're <laughs> That's the hard shit. That's the hard shit. Here you can break that down and you can make crystal meth. Well, they won't sell you cough drops if you're under 18. Is that true? Is that that true is thing? not true whatsoever. Okay, but if I, if you, I was ready to believe you, Kyle. 
But the thing is, if you just sound authoritative enough, you can pretty much get away with anything. Yeah, just act like you're supposed to be there. Exactly. Put on, put on a worker's vest, you can get into anywhere. <laughs> or a lab coat. Those are the two things that will just get you in anywhere. We had a friend who would, wouldn't pay for movie tickets. He would just walk with us into the theater. Like he, like, confidently, like he was supposed to be there. <laughs> it worked every single time. Life hack. A terrible life hack. <laughs> it worked every time. I mean, I don't condone that. But that's impressive. Like, we all had those friends who were just, like, jackasses, but they could just get away with the shit because they were that so That seems like popular. something Casey Ertle would have done. Oh, that's, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said friends that were jackasses, uh, and I thought, who is a friend that Kyle that that Kyle and I both had who was a jackass? Casey Ertl. He got away with so much shit. Like I have so many stories. My favorite ones were we had math together, and he would just leave math and go get he'd just be gone for like I don't know, thirty minutes, and then he would just show back up with a soda. <laughs> and the thing was, he didn't need to be in that math class. He knew math really well. Um, but the, at, at, at eventually we just started giving him money and he would just go buy us sodas. Because he was the one that could get away with it? Yeah. Okay, so here's a Casey Ertl story. Um, I had this economics class with him. And, uh, he knew this girl that was sitting in front of us. And, uh, she kept trying to get his attention. And he looked her in the, straight in the eye. And he was like, hey... Shut your whore mouth. Like, right to her face. All she did was, like, laugh at him. All she did was, like, laugh and then turn back around. Oh, Casey. So she laughed and then shut her mouth. <laughs> he used to, like, give people, like, nip twists and stuff like that. No one was immune to that. Everyone got those, even the girls. Gotcha. Bold. He's a bold man. He was a bold man. He did not finish college. <laughs> Last time I saw him, he was working at Subway. Yes. <laughs> I, I remember, I know exactly which Subway that was. But man, he was... He was... That dude loved Counter-Strike and he loved weed. Mostly at the same time. Have you ever heard that story? Yeah, one time he won a Counter-Strike tournament. <laughs> used to, he, he, the, his prize money didn't even make it back home. He spent, he spent it all on weed. I think weed he won like $2,000. It all went towards weed. That's a lot of weed. It was a lot of weed. Oh, Casey. Hey, it. secret. Yeah. Kyle knows a secret. I know all the secrets. I know where Hitler was buried. He was Supposedly. never buried. He's still alive in Argentina. Supposedly, he's a, he was alive in Russia as well. So one of those is false. Only well, one. one of them has a to be lot true. of Nazis did end up in like Argentina. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They did. What I, I, the rest of them ended up in our space program. Huh. Um, but a lot of Nazis ended up there. Apparently, the like there was one Nazi that stayed in Argentina like unknown forever, and nobody knew until somebody was flying a helicopter over his like estate and uh, his swimming pool had in the bottom of it tiles, like, you know, like the tiles in yeah, the bottom of a yeah. swimming pool. I kid, kid you not, in the shape of a swastika. That is fucking bold. <laughs> God bless that dude. Wow. Well, I mean, but I mean, when he moved there in like Argent in like 1951 or whatever, there wasn't a whole lot of helicopters flying around. <laughs> That's true. Or he probably thought nobody would know. Nobody would notice. It's like, no, it's it's just a Buddhist temple. Or maybe he's just always had a pool That's cover. That's a Japanese joke, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I will explain okay. it to you in a second. Carry yeah, on. it's because the, the symbol that's yeah. basically the same thing, just... It's like, reversed. Uh, rev is it reversed, or is it just not... It's reversed. ...tilted at a 45-degree angle? No, it's it's not tilted at 40... Well, so... <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go into a little how much... Too much of how much I know about Nazis. Is the... The... If it was... The swastika was printed on something that was immobile, it was flat. But if it was on something that moved, it was at 90 degrees. There you uh, go. Okay, didn't know that. Um, but no, it's actually reversed, and it's flat. So. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Sorry for the downer, everybody. Sorry about the swastika news. So yeah, there was this, like, old Nazi. I don't know what happened to him. Like, I don't know. I mean, I mean, what can they really do to him at this point? He was probably, like, 97 someone... years old. 
I think someone did get prosecuted like fairly recently for being a part of the Nazi party. That might have been that dude. Maybe. I don't know. Like, All he got, I know he, is the is the swastika swimming pool part of the well, story. The reason why is because the only reason why I remember was because it was ridiculous because they sentenced him to life in prison. <laughs> he was like 97. So like three years. <laughs> if that he was like, he was like if probably just can't willed imagine. himself to death. Well, and I can't imagine a 97 year old man would fare very well in prison. <laughs> well, in an, like an Argentinian <laughs> prison. Yeah. He has to go in and go in his first day and beat up the biggest bastard in the place. <laughs> So he's dominant. He's like, first, this is my prison now. The first, the first thing you do, your first day in prison, is just kill your cellmate, <laughs> like Gerard Butler and a uh, law-abiding citizen. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This is my prison now. <laughs> have you seen that movie? I uh, never have. It's an interesting movie. I would suggest you watch it. Hey, oh, uh, that is like, was that dude Cortana? That's where his dick would have been. All right, that's the end of the level. <laughs> so I guess that's the end of this this All video. Right. We talked Co about to Co recap. We talked about Nazis. That's all I remember, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you learned something about history. <laughs> hope you learned something about me. We are Go Team Win, and uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Go Team Win. I'm Jason. You can follow me at Jason underscore GTW. I'm Kyle. You can follow me at a Kyle Wagner on Twitter. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Hang out with us again sometime. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>